Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. My name is Gina and I think there's more to life than looking good, but you gotta look good too. So today we're gonna do a little bit more than look good. <laughs> we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna do another uh, car chat for you, another chit chat. Um, this one is totally going to be a like, hi, we're hooking up for lunch or coffee or something, chit chat, because this was something that happened to me this morning or that occurred to me this morning and uh, I know I'm in the car, but I'm totally stuck stuck in traffic, which is why I'm not moving, by the way. Um, and it's also like less noise, like when I get to the traffic spot. So here we go. Anyway, um, I generally don't do my car chats regularly because I wanna make sure that what I'm talking about is like pressing on my mind because I can then be passionate about it instead of just saying, okay, let me find something to talk about because I'm due to do a car chat. So since this one happened to come to me this morning, um, I haven't had a lot of time to marinate with it, but I think that'll be kind of fun to kind of think out loud um, and kind of talk with you guys about it. And then I'm curious, of course, as always, to hear what you think about it. So by the way, if you're not already a member of the G Crew, please subscribe. But I think even more importantly than that, if you do enjoy my car chats, um, then please do give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube doesn't continue to hide me in the corner, um, which it does unless there is activity on your, uh, on your video. So if you don't even want to leave a comment, like I get it, but if you like the video, um, maybe consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, let me, uh, give you a little insight into what's coming. I kind of feel like that's a good idea. I mean, when other, um, creators mention on their channel, what's coming up, like that gets me excited. Like I like to know. So, um, I will be recording or posting my sunscreen uh, info chat um, next um, for two reasons, because uh, many of you guys were interested in it, which is awesome, and I was pretty excited to learn what I did. It won't be long or complicated, but I think it's um, important information. Um, and then I will be uh, posting my skincare over 40 part two video. Um, that one's taking me a little bit longer because I really wanted to refresh my memory on all the different um, ingredients and what they specifically do. I just didn't want to hold up an ingredient and be like, yeah, this helps for anti-aging. Like I wanted to know, um, I want to know and remind myself specifically of what those are. So that, that research for that info chat will um, we'll just delay that video just a little bit. Um, okay, so let me get into my car chat of the day. Enough, <laughs> enough chit chatting. Let's car chat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to call myself like Gina chit chat. Um, okay. So, um, I work out every day, minimum of six days a week. Uh, let me just preface it and put that out there that, um, approximately 13 years ago, um, I did zero. And I, I think I've mentioned this on some of my other videos, um, before where I wasn't active at all. I felt like crap started becoming active. I've lost a bit of weight um, over the last, um, well, I guess 13 years or so. Um, and so now I feel better. I love the way working out makes me feel. I prefer, and there's a ton of science, and maybe I could do an info chat on that if you wanna know, because I've done a ton of research into like pros and cons, whether you do like just mild cardio, or if you do strength training, or if you do high intensity training. I prefer, to do high, what they call HIIT training, high intensity interval training. It's where you bring your heart rate up uh, to a max level, what, however you define that. Um, and then you allow yourself a period of rest and then do it again. So your heart rate's going up and down. I prefer that one, um, cause I like the way it, it makes me feel, but also um, you don't have to be as active for as long. Um, you get this, like you get almost a similar or same benefit from just doing a heavier workout quicker. Hey, I'm giving you the info as we talk. <laughs> um, so you get the same benefit, but you don't have to, you know, it's a 20 minute hit workout is let's say more or less equivalent to like a 40 minute walk, leisurely walk with your friends. So I prefer the shorter time. And then also I just enjoy doing the, you know, getting my heart rate going and, and, and um, challenging my heart rate because I think that will help in the long run. Okay. That's what I like to do. I don't necessarily do that every day, six days a week, but that's that's what I primarily do. And I love it, except this morning. 
this morning now i gotta say let me preface it out there there's a lot of random nothing majorly pressing but there is a ton of um higher than usual stress items going on in my life right now again they're they're almost like um first world problems you know where it's like okay seriously like this is what i mean clearly people have bigger troubles than i do but just in my normal like happy-go-lucky life there are a series of kind of stressful things that are kind of hovering and lingering and they're starting to stack up i think i'm getting in a funk where now i'm just kind of not in the best mood and then everything now seems worse than it is or worse than it would normally like if i were having a good day so i'm in the middle of my workout today or like kind of like a third in and i'm like holy crap i I'm so cranky right now like I did not want to do it and that's a little bit unusual for me and in my head while the workout's going on and while I'm like huffing and puffing uh I am like t having this like running commentary in my head like oh my god this sucks why am I not I I don't feel like doing this I wish it were over how many more minutes oh my god I'm tired you know like and so this clearly is not very motivating within the middle of the workout so I was trying to psych myself out. I mean, I'm a, I'm a trained therapist. I know, I know the techniques, the cognitive behavioral techniques that you can use to kind of get yourself motivated. And maybe it was because I was like, you know, spastically working out at the same time. All of a sudden, as I was kind of running through various thoughts in my head, um, I realized that two of the very compelling things that we teach each other or teach ourselves or teach you know society to think about are in complete contradiction with each other and it literally made me stop in the middle of my work i was like wait a minute so the two things that kind of had come into my brain that i was using as a motivating factor were um just do the best you can and then the other one was Try to do a little bit better than you did before. Have you ever heard those? Like, those are pretty common statements. You know, this idea of, you know, giving it your all, and it doesn't matter, you know, the only person you're competing with is yourself. You're not competing with each other, so just do the best you can. But then at the same time, you're competing with yourself because you should be, in theory, trying to do just a little bit better than you've done before. Try to get yourself, try to challenge yourself and get yourself to move forward and get yourself to advance, get outside of your comfort zone. Well, those sound like really good ideas, except, like I said, they're, in, they're completely the antithesis of each other. Because what if doing the best that I can today is a crap ton less than what I did yesterday? How am I supposed to feel about that? Should I feel good because I did the best that I could? Or should I feel lousy because I wasn't able to do better than I had done before? So which one are you supposed to go with? So this made me angry, which actually then kind of got me back into my workout, which was ironic in and of itself. Um, but I was no longer beating myself up and, and worried about how I was dragging. I was kind of motivated by how mad I was and the fact that I hadn't ever, like it hadn't occurred to me before. Now in and of itself, those statements, they're pretty brilliant. You know, like I was saying, you know, do the best you can. Sometimes that's all we can ask ourselves. You know, even when we're at our lowest, or even when like the world is like coming for you, if you just do the best that you can, then that's all that's all we can say. You can you can you can go to sleep comfortably at night. But then when you use it or you think about it in comparison to uh, do a little bit better than you did before, always society is always pushing us to kind of advance and do better and achieve or overachieve maybe and maybe that's the problem but if you're if you're if your best that day is less than before how the heck is that supposed to be motivating and i was starting to think to myself well how can you tell the difference how do you know and i realized and this is what i've come to so primarily what i want you to start thinking about and what i want you to start commenting about is where you find your motivation like when you're not feeling something or just even generally, how do you get yourself going? How do you get yourself to achieve your goals, to be successful? Do you tell yourself something similar to just do the best that you can 
or do you tell yourself to try to do better than you've been doing as a means of moving forward? Because best and better, they're not necessarily the same. They can work together, but they can only work together up until the point where they conflict with each other. So I realized that for me, the determining factor was, so let's take my workout just for example, because that happened to be what I was talking about. If I had had those feelings when I first woke up this morning and was debating and arguing with myself whether or not I was going to work out this morning. By the way, there's that really funny quote. Um, I work out first thing in the morning because I'm too tired to argue my, with myself and talk myself out of it. I love that. I live for that. That's actually me. I'm like on autopilot in the morning, get up, find my workout clothes and just, you know, don't even think about it. But let's say that I had been in that frame of mind. Like I was not in a very good mental place as of late and this morning. So let's say I was trying to, um, trying to talk myself out of or trying to decide whether or not I was going to work out. If I had said to myself this morning and followed the mantra of do the best that you can, I'm sorry, do better than you did the day before. Well, I didn't feel like doing anything this morning. So the thought of doing better than before was completely overwhelming. And so I probably, if I had thought that this morning, I'm not sure I would have done anything because that seemed overwhelming. The idea of doing better than before seemed overwhelming, intimidating, and something that I was not interested in doing. But when I didn't feel like doing something on the flip side, arguing with myself and thinking, I really don't feel like working out today. If I had said to myself, well, get out of bed, put on your workout clothes, and just do the best that you can, well, that would have been light years better than doing nothing. So I think in, in that particular scenario, which is in fact what I said to myself during my workout today was, you know what, I, I became mindful of the fact that I wasn't feeling it and I was grumpy about it and I was resisting it, which is never a happy place to be when you're trying to work out anyway. We want like happy hormones to be flowing. We don't want the cranky hormones to be flowing. But um, I finally kind of got back into it when I said to myself, you know what, you, let's just call out the fact that you feel lazy or, you know, just not into it today or stressed or whatever. Finish the workout, but just do the best that you can. And the best that I could this morning was by far no better. It was not any better than it had been previously. In fact, it was considerably less. But in saying to myself, in giving myself the permission to not push as hard as I had been before, I was able to make it through and I was able to have an accomplishment. And my goal of every day kind of working out was achieved. Did I work out to like to the best of like, um, I'm, not obviously I did work out to the best that I could, but did I work out to the best that I, of my ability overall? No, clearly. But in the end, I was, I was able to walk away from the situation feeling okay about it because I didn't give up. So I think for me, I'm a combination of both of those statements. Um, you know, if I'm into something, then I can motivate myself and say, well, try to do a little better than you were before. But if I'm completely not feeling something, but in my heart I know it's something I want to do or should do, if I give myself the permission to just say, well, you know what? We don't have to do any better. Then we don't even have to compete with ourselves. Let's just do the best we can. Um, then I think there's power and there's freedom and there's motivation in that. But I think ultimately, and this is where I think we don't pay enough attention and we do talk ourselves out of doing the workout or whatever it is that we're contemplating or whatever goal it is that we have. I don't think we're taking the time to evaluate where we're at. You know, if I was just on autopilot, I'm on autopilot when I go to work out, but am I on autopilot when it comes to my goals? Well, maybe we shouldn't be. Maybe we should be evaluating them kind of all the time. And without being without having a level of self-awareness as to what you're feeling, what's going on in your life, what factors are contributing to how you feel right now and what you want to accomplish, even in just the short term. Like my overall long-term goal of wanting to work out every day because it makes me feel good and it benefits me now and I know it'll benefit me later on in my life, you know, that never changed. But sometimes my, my daily goals might need to change. And so I think we're always either so busy or just 
we forget to take the time to ask ourselves and you know kind of where are you at today how are you feeling today I recently started um, just kind of a um, kind of a daily evaluation journal super quick super easy I ignore I asked today I, I fill in the blanks today I feel and I fill in the blank and I say why you know because of this um, I list out my top project of the day why that's important I list out my little small little things I want to accomplish and why those are important and then I evaluate the day before how did yesterday go how did my how did achieving my goals go and it's very very centering I promise you it takes me less than five minutes every day but it's this whole idea of having just a healthy level of self-awareness and as a result how that self-awareness relates to your motivation which was the purpose of today's chit chat was how you find your motivation um do you like i said do you do you go by do the best you can or do better than you did before um but maybe you have something else entirely also uh you know maybe you motivate yourself in some other way um and i think even just taking a minute to think about it makes us all the more successful kind of as a result so that's kind of my homework for you <laughs> How many YouTube channels give hope? Uh, so my camera just cut me off, so this might be a little disjointed, but what I was saying was my homework for you is I want you to think about how you, how self-aware are you? What is your self-awareness of your level of self-awareness, basically? Um, do, you, do you recognize how you're feeling, what's going on, and where you're at? Do you actually take the time to do that? If you don't, how could you? Um, I found what works for me, which was just that really simple kind of daily, literally less than five minute kind of analysis of my day yesterday and what I want to accomplish today. Um, but you may have other things. It may work for you another way. So how do you, how do you practice being self-aware? Or do you need to practice being self-aware? Do you feel like you're just flying by life so quickly that you have no idea what's going on and how you're feeling? And many of us, and myself, up until semi recently was kind of like that too but then also more specifically than that where do you get your motivation from do you do you use one of my two statements or some variation of that do better than you did before or versus do the best you can or do you have another mantra i love mantras so if you have one please share that so um i'm trying to bring a little consistency to my channel I get a lot of really good feedback that you guys enjoy my chit chats. I love doing them because I just love talking to people. <laughs> and I'm just super happy that there's someone out there to listen. But I think I'm gonna kind of focus my channel a little bit moving forward on, on kind of a variety of chit chats. My car chats are obviously deep and meaningful, sometimes controversial, sometimes reflective, but all in the essence and all in, the, and all, all in honor of just thinking and being just kind of more present in this world and in our own life. Um, but I think I'm going to just start doing beauty chats and info chats like I'm doing with skincare, which is coming um, because I like to research and I like to share information. And it seems like you guys um, are kind of looking for that too. So, um, you know what? I'm always a work in progress and so will this channel be. So um, if you want to see what else I'm coming up with, like I said, I invite you to, to subscribe. But more importantly, if you like this video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Other than that, I'm on Instagram where you'll see pictures of me and my doggy and, and just, I don't know. Instagram makes me smile. When people laugh at themselves, which I'm doing a lot or I try to do a lot, I just, I think that brings a healthy dose of reality. So maybe check me out on Instagram. Um, other than that, thank you for spending your time with me today. Um, always a pleasure. You make my commute into work go so much actually faster, although I'm still stuck in wicked traffic. Um, but anyway, thanks again. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great day in the meantime. Thanks.